Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another glorious and awesome day to know the Lord and to be in Him and to be encouraged in the Lord. You know, the Word says to exhort one another daily while it is called today. So I'm exhorting you daily to, to trust in God and to trust in His Word. And speaking of His Word, let's just jump into Psalm 23 which I'm sure you might have read before, I would suspect, but it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Now, I think there is a, a translation that expands on this. It's probably the Amplified, which I don't have. Where it says, The Lord is my shepherd, to feed and guide me. And you know, that's what a shepherd does. They lead their, past, their, their sheep, their flock, into green pastures to feed them so they can eat the right food. And I was doing a little, uh, we were doing a Bible study about Jesus, the good shepherd. So I did a little research on natural shepherding and watched a video about shepherds in the Himalayas. And the first thing they said in that was they lead all the flock out at a certain time of year over to this green pasture that's up higher in the mountains, I think. And they said, it's an area where it doesn't receive much rain. And because it doesn't receive much rain, the grass is more uh, nutrient dense. And that really struck me, you know. Sometimes in our lives, it seems like we're not getting much rain. We're in a drier area. A drier place we always want rain and we want refreshing we want the good stuff but when the Lord leads you the Good Shepherd leads you to a pasture that's not sodden that's not just drenched full of rain it might be because he needs you to get the nutrients the food that is full of nutrients he is the Good Shepherd and we can trust him to lead us to the good feeding ground to the good food so we can get what we need to live. Amen? There's another story I heard about a, uh, I think this was in English, it's probably from uh, those Harriet books, the books about the, the veterinarian. My wife reads those and she tells me all these stories about them. And there was a, a guy who had his own pasture, he had cows in this case, it's not sheep but it's cows. And he had gotten sick or something and had to leave, and so his sister came in to take care of the farm for him for a while. And so she was thinking, well, I'm going to get these cows to eat good food. So she took them out to this really lush green field, and the cows ate the food, and then the cows developed all these parasites in their throat, and they couldn't eat or they couldn't breathe and they couldn't eat, and they were pretty close to dying. They had to do a lot of work to try and keep them alive. And they went back and they found out, you know, she brought it up to her brother, who's like, no, you can't take them to that field because that field is too wet. It was green, it was lush, and it was soaked with water. And since it was soaked with water, the parasites that live in the ground normally crawl up on the grass. And so the cows would actually eat these live parasites. And that's another thing that strikes me about the shepherd, the good shepherd leads us. You know, if we're just looking with our eyes to what's tasty and what's dainty, and now I'm talking about spiritual food, so to speak. I'm talking about words. I'm talking about ideas. I'm talking about preaching even. If we just rush after what looks good because it looks good to us and we start chowing down, well, we're not being led by the Spirit. Thank God He leads us. Anywhere we go, we acknowledge Him in all our ways, and He directs our paths. Amen? He is the Good Shepherd. He will lead you to good, lush, green fields and the right ones for you to eat and so that you can grow and be strong. Amen. Be blessed.